Hi everyone, welcome to my LAS experience. I'm doing a video for my LAS final project because I think it's important to learn how to articulate my experience. Um, you can't get anywhere without a job interview. So hopefully I'll be able to tell you and future employers what I learned, skills that I gained, and how this will help me in the future. So you can see me walking through the campus of UIUC and I want to do this because I want to show you a tour of my LAS one-on-one -on -one experience. Um, I will be showing you the classroom that I taught in and also the place where I met with each of my students for my one-on-ones. So my class was in the foreign language building on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. I had a class right before that so I really had to learn how to be um, how to prepare for this class because I didn't have any time before. I didn't have any um, last minute crunch time to plan what I was going to say. So I would always prepare either Tuesday or hopefully days before that um, just to figure out what I was going to say and what my objective for that week was. And the discussion section for 399 really helped with that with three. The 399 section was awesome to have because it, it was really nice to have peers that were going through the same thing, thing, same thing that I was going through. And it was also nice to know that they were having the same problems as I was, just so that I knew that I wasn't the only one having this problem and it wasn't a me thing. Being such, such as like one-on-ones going wrong, I was able to vent to my peers about that and they said they were having the same problems, which was nice. And then I could also ask Dory if I ever had any problems and she would tell me what to do. So this is a classroom that I taught in. It's very small, as you can see, it's in the basement of the foreign language building. And what I really wish I could have done was make it so that it was a big circle of all of my students and that they could all face each other. And I think that would really promote discussion. However, as you can see, that really was not an option because all of these chairs are very squished together. But you make with what you can do and I think I was able to put them in small groups, which really helped with discussion. So from standing up in front of a big group of people that are looking at you as a role model, that really helped me develop as a leader that I am today, and it helped me develop my um, public speaking skills. Before this, I was very, very nervous to speak in front of a big group, and um, I would get, even just before my first class, I would get very, very anxious and kind of sweaty, but um, I've kind of realized that you're just, you're speaking to a group of people as if they're your friends and if um, you're trying to give them advice and you're trying to help them. So it really helped me develop my personal speaking skills and also it helped me develop as a leader that I am today. Um, there's, I think as I was growing up, there was this confliction for me of do, how do I be a leader but also please everyone? How do I not be too bossy? And how do I make sure that everyone gets what they want? And um, that's one of the things that I learned the most from this LES experience. And um, I'll go into that more when I go into the one-on-one -on -one meetings. So on my walk to where I put, had my one-on-ones, I want to talk about my one-on-one -on -one experience. Um, so for the first round, I was pretty lenient and um, people making up times, you know, if they, if they missed it. The first time that they scheduled, making new times for people at the last minute. And that really put a burden on myself because I had exams that week and I was, you know, bending over backwards to make sure that people had their one-on-ones when they should have been more productive in the past when I had given them two weeks before. To do that. I had given them more than enough time to do that. So for the second time I decided to be stricter just so that I could keep my sanity. Um, I said that there were only two two hours spot allocated a day for one-on-ones and then I also said that I would not be allowing makeups and that I would not be allowing people to be late. So I think that really helped keep my sanity, but also didn't keep my popularity up there. Um, for example, one time a girl was 
late, 15 minutes late, and she emailed me 15 minutes into the meeting, and I said I had left already because I was only going to wait 10 minutes, and she hadn't warned me before. So, um, unfortunately, I would have given her a zero, but I offered um, open office hours at um, Espresso Royale for people to make up their missed time. So, I think I was able to keep the strictness, but also find a way to keep everyone happy. So I think my problem there was that I wasn't consistent in how I wanted to do things and that allowed my students to, I wouldn't say walk all over me, but they would, you know, offer, ask for um, makeups, ask for me to make a rule exception. So this is where I was able to do my one on ones and quiet right now because it's final time and I don't want to disrupt anyone studying. But here is where I learned how to establish a good base of trust with my students and um, they came to me in times of need, whether it was breakups, whether it was um, mental health issues, wellness issues, or ethnic issues, I was able to help them. And also issues that I really didn't think I was going to have to deal with, such as where to live next year, where to get this food, um, what to do in downtown Canton or Urbana area. I think in regards to establishing trust, what helped me was to offer my own personal experiences. So for example, my sister is a freshman at college, not here unfortunately, but she is, and I would um, kind of put myself at that level of being like, so my sister has this problem, what do you guys think about that? And just, I would offer up problems that I think they may have had, and I would make myself almost asking for help so that they would come in to me and confide in them. Which actually really helped because I had students come and say, well, I know this is having a problem with your this is a problem that your sister's going through. This is how I got through it. I'm struggling through it now and can you also help me with this other thing? So it really helped me um, because what I really wanted to do was help the kids go through the transition from college to college. So for my four skills that I learned in this LAS 101 experience is that first I learned how to be prepared, stay organized, and make sure that every week you're doing what you need to do. Um, secondly, I learned how to public speak a little bit better than I was able to do before this. Um, third, I learned how to be a leader in that it's okay to be strict sometimes, it's okay to not let everyone be happy, but be fair and be consistent. Um, and then fourthly, I learned how to establish a sense of trust with my students and a sense of trust that would have them confide in me and also me being able to talk to them in um, a very mentor, mentor-like manner. All in all, I feel that I have developed so much as a person and also a professional through this LAS one-on-one -on -one experience and I'm so glad to have this opportunity. It's one of the best things that I did this semester and thanks for a great semester.